Good morning, family. How we doing, familia? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Hope all is well. It's Friday, I believe. It's uh, September twenty seventh, uh, two thousand twenty four, and amazing things are happening. I'm so excited. Amazing things are happening in my life. Amazing things are happening in your in your life. And uh, how can I cl- declare that and claim that? Because we woke up, you guys. We woke up and we get another chance, you guys. We get another chance, you guys. Yes, we did. Not many people woke up today. No, they didn't. Uh, a lot of people are in the hospital bed right now, wishing they could be out and about, enjoying this cloudy day. And a lot of people are suffering through the hurricanes that are going on in this world, and uh, in Florida, and, and tornadoes in Texas, uh, fires, earthquakes, wars. You guys, wars. A lot of people are being um, there. There, there's, there's being floods, all kinds of cleansing that this world is going through. Uh, a lot of people are are alone a lot of people are are sick and they wish that they could be once again out and about being able to enjoy this beautiful day they can't but you can and we woke up at the end of the day you guys we all just want to be happy we want we want to enjoy our life we want to be able to smile uh, wake up enjoy this day and go to sleep and get a great night's sleep but it's up to us to, to be able to do that, you guys. Now, quick question. What is the most precious commodity that we have, you guys? There's no right or wrong answer, you know. What do you think is the most important commodity that, that we have that has been given to us? Okay. Okay, fine. In my humble opinion, the most precious commodity is time, you guys. For example, you can buy the new iPhone, right? Right? You can have the 14 iPhone and you can get the new iPhone 16, right? And then in a couple of years, you can buy another one, right? You could buy a house and then, you know, flip it. Or maybe you're so successful that you can buy another house and rent the first house so you can have passive income, okay? You can also um, buy a brand new car, right? Let a couple of years pass by and then maybe you could give that to your kids or you can give that and bless somebody with that car and get another car or maybe you can keep it and have two cars in your household and just in case just in case one car gets uh broken down you have another car to get go out and about and still take care of business right now time there's no way we can replace time you guys there isn't what we're doing right now this very moment we won't we won't be able to get this time back so my another question that i have for you is are we wasting time you guys are we wasting time and this is something that we all have to ask each other independently and individually ask ourselves when we're reflecting am i wasting my time now if you're doing something productive and you're trying to achieve a goal and you're really going forth at it you're not wasting your time you're investing that time so you at the long the long term long run you accomplish something. That's good. But if we're waking up angry, if we're waking up spiteful, resentful, and we're still angry because something happened yesterday, last week, last month, a couple months ago, last year, two years ago, five years ago, ten years ago, that is not worth it, you guys. That's wasting time. If we're wasting time doubting ourselves, or focusing on what other people have, or, or focusing on, on how other people are living, focusing on what other people are doing, focusing on how other people are successful, and why not me? If we're wasting time, once again, doubting ourselves, making excuses, holding back, being rude, chatting and and creating rumors and gossiping that is not productive you guys that is a waste of time instead of focusing on the fact that we woke up and we got another chance and realizing that life is the most life is a school the school of hard knocks and the best lesson was my last mistake and what can i learn from the last mistake what can i let go and what can i keep and apply for today the rest it doesn't apply let it fly and continue to learn you guys oh yes yes you guys because if if we're investing our time wisely we can actually heal ourselves you guys we can heal ourselves check out joe dispenza 
Okay, check out Wayne Dyer. They're talking about healing ourselves using the spiritual realm, being able to find our master key and unlocking the spiritual realm, the spiritual dimension by going within ourselves where the true power is at, you guys. And we can heal ourselves. But if I wake up every day focus on I can't, I doubt myself, or or what are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, let me look at uh, social media, see what they're doing. Nope. We're wasting our time, you guys. Oh, my goodness. And if we're also living with doubts, I can't do this. I, I don't know how. No, no, no. I'm going to wait till everything's perfect. Everything's perfect. All the stars in alignment, the moons and the planets and all the green lights are green and all the, all the signal lights are green. And I'm going to wait for everything to be perfect. That's a waste of time right there because there will never be a, a, a perfect moment. The only moment is now, you guys. See, fear stops and takes a look but faith just jumps right in it full force being guided by god trusting god and relying on god and being guided by god and then that's when the miracles and the blessings and the healing healings are performed on a daily basis starting with the blessing of being able to wake up so it's our decision what am i going to be focusing on today am i going to be focused on, on on starting something new new rituals and new habits or relying on all rituals and habits and being comfortable gossiping talking bad about others being angry for not taking responsibility or am i going to be utilizing my time and not wasting my time and taking responsibility changing my ways trusting god surrendering to god all right you guys now there's some exercises that i want to share with you um it requires visual, visualization or visualizing what the outcome that we want and also breathing. So one of the exercises is when we wake up, before we get out of bed, right? And if you have to go ahead and, and set your alarm or what have you, uh, because maybe you have a schedule, so maybe set your alarm for 30 minutes before, right? And while you're laying in bed, we're going to start breathing, Inhaling through our mouth for a count of four seconds. Then we're going to hold it for a count of sef seven seconds. And then we're going to exhale through our mouth for a count of eight seconds. And we're going to do that for about 15 minutes. And don't worry, our mind will wander, but it's okay because it's a whole new habit that we're creating every day that we do this right and initially when we're inhaling and you, and you do and you get all the way done to exhaling then you're going to say one and then you're going to do it again and when you're done exhaling through your mouth two i mean i'm sorry you're going to start with 10 and you're going to count down all the way to one so and then you're going to hold for seven seconds and then you're going to exhale for eight seconds through your mouth and that's going to be 10 and you're going to count down all the way to one and then you're going to continue to breathe and this time when you breathe just breathe normally inhale and exhale and when you're inhaling make your stomach go inside all the way inside right and when you exhale make your diaphragm and your stomach come out right and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be visualizing how our day is going to be, how we feel, how we're going to conquer things, how we feel great. And you're going to be visualizing with your mind's eye, your third eye, how great this day is going to come out, how successful it's going to be, how you're going to be smiling, how you're going to be just conquering everything and, and, and smashing all barriers and boundaries and how it's going to be amazing, right? And then when we're done with our day, after we pray, after we're done and we lay down on our bed, we're going to do the same thing. The same exercise and we're going to visualize how tomorrow's going to be and how we're going to sleep well and how great we had a great awesome day today. And we're going to tell ourselves how proud we are of ourselves, you guys. Okay. And then throughout the day, if you have 15 minutes, go ahead and sit down somewhere in your car on a chair or maybe if you have somewhere to lay down and do another breathing exercise and this time this time just inhaling and exhaling for 15 minutes 
And uh, initially when we start, when you inhale and you exhale, that'll be 10. And you're going to count down from 10 to 1. And what we're doing, we're, we're relaxing our, our heartbeat and our mind. And our mind will be racing. It'll be thinking. It'll be going crazy. But it's okay because we're trying to train our body to be still. And when we're being still, then we can plug into God. And God is real. And what God has built, it can't be broken because God built it. So we're going to allow God to continue to build us and heal us. And we're going to release everything that we don't need. And inhale healing, 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 healing. And work on our mind and our thoughts, you guys, okay? Now, another thing that we can do that I do recommend is check into business ownership. If you're noticing that, that people are getting fired in your job, or if you're noticing that you're working paycheck to paycheck and living paycheck to paycheck, and you're working a nine-to-five and it's just not enough, and you want to get another job and then another job and another job, hey, why don't we use that, that, that spare time to own our own business and create our own business and, and, and plug into business ownership. And that's why I'm here, you guys. I can share with you, anybody in the United States, how to own your own business, starting all on your spare time basis. And what do I do? I make sure families are not being taken advantage of and ripped off financially, you guys. Because it's going on and I don't like it. And um, I'm looking for people that want to make a difference in their communities and live the best life ever and glorify God and do what's right, you guys. Okay, you guys, with that being said, ask yourself, are we wasting time? Are you wasting time? Am I wasting time? And once we do and we're, we're honest with ourselves, then it's long term. Uh, and uh, so we can go ahead and accomplish the life that we want because life can be a dream. And I believe. And don't forget, we're proud of you. We believe in you. We need you to get up, dust yourself off, and let's keep going. So let's go. Let's go, champs. Let's go be amazing. Let's go be amazing. Let's go be amazing, champs. Blessings. Praise one, love one, God only. Polo go checking in and checking out.